How is life both diverse and unified? Part 2. Our next topic is DNA, specifically DNA structure and DNA replication. DNA is one of the most important and complex molecules that exist. It stores genetic information that programs all living things' cell activities. This is how all living things are similar. It is a 6 billion letter code that provides assembly instructions for an organism's foundation. DNA is in the shape of a double helix, which is a polymer. It is made of smaller molecular units called nucleotides. Each nucleotide composed of phosphate, sugar, and one of the four nitrogenous bases, adenine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine. Phosphate and sugar bond together to form the backbone of the DNA structure. In DNA, nitrogenous bases, adenine and thymine bond together, and cytosine and guanine bond together. These are called base pairing rules. Each arrangement of these nitrogenous bases allows for the diversity of every organism. In DNA, there is a process called DNA replication. This is how DNA copies itself. Every time DNA needs to copy, enzyme helicase unzips the double helix. This results in a leading strand on top and a lagging strand at the bottom. For the leading strand, DNA polymerase adds matching nucleotides after the primer RNA primase sets a place for the DNA polymerase to start. For the lagging strand, it runs 3' prime to 5', prime, and the DNA polymerase runs 5' prime to 3', prime, so it copies backwards. Plants use DNA for their genetic code. Plants Plants have chromosomes and cells just like every other organism on this planet, but their ways of getting food and reproducing are quite different from any other animal. First, plants use cellular respiration as a means of creating energy for cellular activities, just like animals do. However, they use photosynthesis to create food from water, carbon dioxide, and the sun's energy, while animals rely on prey for food. Even within all plants, there are many different ways that plants reproduce. In non-vascular plants such as mosses, liverworts, and hornworts, the gametophyte stage is dominant. Angiosperms have a different way of reproducing. They use bright flowers and sweet nectar to attract pollinators who have co-evolved co alongside the plants. They also use fruits to disperse seeds and protect them. Since the Mesozoic era, angiosperms have been the most successful plants by far. Not all plants reproduce in the same way, but they all have one thing in common. They are the basis for every food web and ecosystem on Earth. Ecology The topic of plants is a perfect lead into ecology. Primary producers are the basis for every food chain within an ecosystem. There is not a single ecosystem on earth that could thrive without plants. Brown food webs begin with detritus, which is dead plant matter located on the forest floor. The detritus begins the food chain because decomposers like mushrooms, beetles, and earthworms rely on the detritus to live. The decomposers are the prey of primary consumers such as snakes, mice, and birds. Living plants are the beginning of green food webs. For example, grazing animals such as cows or bison eat grass, but they are preyed upon by secondary consumers like coyotes. Primary producers are the reason we have ecological relationships within ecosystems. Mutualism and predation are a few of many relationships within an ecosystem. Mutualism is a relationship where both species benefit from the other. For example, oxpeckers are small birds that will eat parasites, ticks, and fleas off of zebras. The zebras get pest control and the oxpeckers get food. Some require this type of relationship to live and it's called obligatory mutualism, like the relationship between the yucca moth and the yucca tree. Predation is very simple. It comes down to one species eating another species for survival. There are endless examples of predation around the world. A well-known example of predation is lions eating antelopes and gazelle in the African savanna. Predation causes coevolution in species. The prey adapts to become better at escaping predators, while the predators evolve to, come, to become better at catching prey, one of the mechanisms of evolution. Created using Powtoon.